Well, folks, it's Christmas time, and once again, here's the unbelievable but true Howard Hughes Christmas turkey story. It's told to me by my mentor, Scott Myers, many years ago when I was a young practicing behavioral scientist at Texas Instruments. Scott was one of the greatest industrial psychologists to have ever lived and practiced his craft. And many years ago, before the war, Scott actually was the personnel manager for Hughes Aircraft when it was very small and worked for Howard. One day, Howard came to Scott and said, hey, we've had a good year, it's Christmas time, let's give everybody a Christmas turkey. And Scott said, sure, why not, sounds great. And they did, passed out Christmas turkeys on the last day of work before Christmas. Well, everyone was very excited and very appreciative. Wow, thank you very much. Next year, the rumblings of war are starting. Hughes Aircraft has grown quite a bit, not just a couple of hundred employees. Now they're in the thousands. Well, the word got around. Scott, are we going to get a Christmas turkey this year? Well, I hadn't really thought about it, but let me ask Howard. Howard says, Scott, sure, why not? Let's don't disappoint people and give them a turkey. Third year, foregone conclusion. You work for Hughes Aircraft, you get a turkey at Christmas time. Well, now the war started. Hughes Aircraft was thousands and thousands of people. It became a logistical nightmare getting turkeys out to everyone. They had a very sensitive union negotiation. At the end of the negotiation, got up to shake hands with the management and Scott and Howard, and the union said, not so quick, boys. We want to talk about this turkey ripoff. What? Turkey ripoff? What are these guys talking about? Yeah, turkey ripoff. We have irrefutable evidence right here that some supervisors are playing favorites and giving bigger turkeys out to their favorite employees. Therefore, the most senior employees should be allowed to pick their turkeys first. Sure, guys, I, I guess we could do that. Now we shake hands on the contract. No, not quite. Something else. You arrogant management guys think everybody wants a turkey for Christmas. Did it ever occur to you once that some people would like a ham? Really? Yes. We want it in a contract. You get to choose a turkey or a ham. This is a nightmare. They had to bring train loads of this stuff in now. So finally, it was just totally out of control. One year, the word got out that the hams were spoiled and they almost had a wildcat strike in the middle of a war over a ham that they thought was rotten. Okay, well then some bright MBA from Stanford came in one day and said, Mr. Hughes, Mr. Myers, I have a solution to this problem. You know these little IBM punch cards that everybody uses around here? Why don't we just hand those out to people, the same amount to everybody, and they can go to Ralph's supermarket and they can cash it in for a turkey or a ham there. Brilliant idea, son. That MBA really paid off. Your folks must be very proud of you. Took the card into Ralph's supermarket, said, I want a turkey or a ham. And Ralph said, that's okay, but you know what? That card's as good as money around here. You can get cigarettes, diapers, beer, anything you want. Let me ask you something. Was the turkey getting anything for Hughes Aircraft? I'm not sure it did. Probably didn't. I often wonder if that's one of the reasons Howard just went nuts in his later years. Think about it.